for my dogs Running up a chick when I'm on my paws Fridges or whatever, we gon' get you right For the right price, this my breeder's life This the lifestyle and the way we live How we get it done, how we feed our kids This my breeder's life, what we tell it all But the main thing is what for my dog We back, man My breeder's life, season two I catch y'all up, man You know, I'm George Mosley Better known as GMO. I've been doing this since 2006. You know, uh, I just don't like the way a lot of people on the outside look at breeders, man. So I want to give them a different light, a different insight on how breeders really are, and you know how we all do things differently, but the right way, you know, our way. Just pulling up to the spot right now, man. It's invitation only right here to a lot of the magic go down. It's a central location. Everybody comfortable. Don't have to worry about no crap. You don't have to worry about no waiting in line. You know, you come in, get the job done, and go home. My breeder's life. My boy Mo. Well, Mo is not here. He has someone to bring um, his fluffy here. So right now we're gonna breed his fluffy to uh, to this Brenda girl of a friend of mine. Word, What's bro? going down, my brother? Nothing, man. Just chilling. How are yes, you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's that boy Coda. He's a lilac and tan, fluffy, no pod, no brindle. He's owned by uh, Mo Prince. He's one of the nicer fluffies, man. You know, fluffy still got a little way to go. I like a shorter back. I like a shorter muzzle, big bone. But I'm talking about my preference. I don't like the bow leg. No, I like a nice, nice clean dog pretty much. You know, so we're gonna see if we can make a nice clean fluffy around this boy. Or a mini fluffy, miniature fluffy. We call him Mr. Slippery Hands. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna show you why we call him Slippery Hands here in a little bit, man. It ain't gonna take but like two seconds. You'll see. You got the time on? Ice, ice, ice. You know, we start testing again around day 60, right? Yeah. Take, test around day 60, man. Do a reverse progesterone to see if she's ready to have them. What we're using is a, is a phase contrast microscope. It's not those garden variety, little cheap $500 scopes. This is about, this is a Nikon. I can pull up a report and that'll let me know what's the sperm analysis, the motility. This is what we normally do during our breeding. So we're able to use these catheters. They have lines that tell us how deep we're going and they're thermodynamic. So as, the, as they warm up, they get soft. They go right inside your female, and you're able to quickly do a TCI without the dangers of no surgery, no anesthesia, none of that illegal stuff. We just do it like this. It's better than the AI. There we go. We're able to see what's going on with our female. You see it's nice and clean. This is towards the last TCI. We're able to open up. Okay. Look at that. We're able to take a little quick view of her cervix. No place else in Houston can bring you this close to the cervix. So we take our little tube. Okay, now we're right there. We enter the cervix. And right there, you can see the tubing. It's sliding its way right into the dog uterus. Look at that. And the lines are telling me how deep we're going. Right there. And we're taking the semen that we just collected and we just tested thoroughly with the proper motility and count. And now, we're injecting this inside the female until she fills up. Okay, you pull out a little bit. Displacement. There we go. Toss this 60 off. days, we have eight buckets. Eight. 
heard of Louis first. Now we take a quick look. As you can see, majority of the cement went in. The darker side's only one and a half. There's a little bit of backwash left over. We look at it. No more hanging a girl upside down. No more spinning her around. And there we go. Your female's done. Appreciate it, August, man. It's one of the best, man, you know. It's good when you have a friend that can help you do your dogs, man. So now we're gonna have eight puppies after this. I already counted them. <clears throat> the human x-ray machine. Hey, we are Joy and Glenn Baker here at the dog house at French Kissables. We created the dog house here on our property for people that love Frenchies stress-free environment and no worry zone for their dogs to come and play. We also made it for people who want to purchase a French Bulldog from us that are out of town and they want to feel safe and get acclimated with their dog before leaving. Here at the dog house, you get the luxury of having the artificial grass for your dogs. It's allergy free. So we can spray it for any type of germs. It's all clean and ready for your dog when they get here. We have Bold Up Murphy Queen Bed mini bar, mini kitchen, full shower, wonderful porch to stay on and relax, great yard for your Frenchie to come and play in. We also have a fire pit area that you can enjoy in the evening. Just sit and relax and have a great time. What's going down, my breeder's life? Y'all just seen the breeding with Coda. Y'all seen that TCI, man. And y'all seen the human x-ray machine say it was gonna be eight pups. And they're two weeks now, so we're gonna deworm them. We're gonna check their nails, make sure their nails nice, make sure the mom nice. And uh, y'all come follow me, man, come check it out. And so around two weeks, I like to uh, come by, put my eyes on them myself, man, get their weight, make sure they've been gaining weight. And then at two weeks, I deworm them as well. I ain't gonna tell y'all what, what I use because they don't pay me to do that yet, but once they start paying me to tell y'all what it is, I'll tell y'all what it is. I usually give a one cc per five pounds. So this pup right here, I'm gonna give like 0.3. Come on, fella. Yeah, you don't want that. Yup. Yeah, I know, man. So what's the ticket on these puppies right here? Right here? This boy is a, uh, he's a chocolate merle, carries blue, and he carries cream, and he carries one copy of Brindle. This boy right here, 15 grand. Oh yeah, and he carries Fluffy, for you Fluffy lovers. Yeah, he's available. Matter of fact, this might be my first merle litter. Out of uh, all these years of breeding, man, you know. I like this little girl right here, man. It's nice and thick. Might be the keeper. So we're gonna ride with. And her DNA nice, you know what I mean? Like like I say, she carry everything. The female, I co-owned it with a uh, guy. He wanted fluffy. You know, that's what everybody hearing right now. So, you know, I let him do it how he wanted to do it this round. So we got all fluffy carriers right here. It's part of it, man. If the customers want it, you gotta give it to them. <laughs> man, what, what, what got you started in this, my brother? Man, my daughter, man. My daughter said she wanted a, uh, a dog that didn't get big, man. So I went on Facebook and made a mistake and went to uh, uh, made a post nationwide instead of local. <laughs> and shoot, your name popped up, man. I called you and you was like, man, I'm trying to bring you on as a team, man. I'm not just trying to sell you a dog. And, I ain't know nothing about breeding, nothing about whelping, or none of that, man. And you walked with me through the whole process. You kept your word. Shit, what more can I ask for that, man? That was just real. You helped me feed my family and everything, man. So, uh, you know, that's loyalty, right? I appreciate that. I that, man. People see breeders or hear breeders, and they always have, well, most of the time, people that's not breeders have a, a bad image of us, man, and not knowing you know what we have to go through to be a breeder. You just heard it. 
I didn't even expect that, man. You know, it's just somebody I feel good energy with. I gave him my word. So years later, he doing his thing. He providing for his family. And he have dogs that's part of his family, you know? So that's the way I do it, man. You know, I know other people do it differently, but let's get y'all's story, man. Bring it to my breeder's life. We out. That's English Bulldog, that's Astro right there. He's owned by Mo2. The same guy that owned that Fluffy that came earlier, he owned that boy too, man. The dogs really blessed me, man. You put me in a, put me in a whole nother spot. Put me in a position to even help other people, you know what I mean? Like, not just for me, other people too. When I first started, I started with bullies. I just, well, pit bulls, really. Then when I got to Frenchies, it put me in places that I would have never went if I didn't have the dogs. You know what I mean? So it's good, man. It's a lot of positives with the dogs. Hey, did he tell you about the fee if your dog vomiting in here? He didn't tell you about the fee? I think it's like a $75 fee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But at first, man, I'm talking about, bro, I lost so much money messing with these dogs. But I just knew, I just knew at the end of the day, it's what I wanted to do, and I knew it, it had potential. And now, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I can have some litters and I can put whatever price I want on it because people know I'm gonna put my all into what I do. They, nobody questioned me about what I breed because they know I'm gonna do it right. I sell dogs all over the country, man. You know what I mean? China, UK, here, everywhere. That's all over the world. All over the world, man. Yeah, what you can expect from my breeder's life, man, is, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get different point of views from different breeders. You're gonna get, you know, some breeders, they got 100 dogs in the backyard in cages. You got breeders that only got five dogs that live in their house. You know, everybody do stuff differently, man, so that's what we're gonna bring to y'all. We're gonna bring to y'all the different ways and the different levels it is of breeding. And also, man, a lot of these setups, a lot of these people, the way they got stuff ran in their house, in their homes. A lot of people got a lot, a lot, a lot I'm sorry y'all, I got this, I'm, I'm a little tipsy, man. A lot of people got a lot of, a lot of nice setups, man, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna bring that to y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Only on My Breeder's Life. My Breeder's Life. <laughs> it's the lifestyle. Hey, I'm feeling it now, buddy. This boy got a punch to it, man. Wake up in the morning, feed the fam. Then I feed my dogs. Everything coming with this life. We gon' tell it all. Work hard, yeah, we on a grind. It's the way we ball. Free game. All is like my French. Yeah, this for my dog. All things breeders and they lifestyle. Just to show. All things dogs and the knowledge. We gon' let you know. MTV grills for the killers. Yeah. And we gon' break it down. Bottom right before you. This one for my dogs Running up a check when I move my paws Frenchies or whatever, we gon' get you right For the right price, this my breeder's life Coming up next on My Breeder's Life So this is our house. It's about 60 by 30. We've got a huge front porch and back porch for the Frenchies to run and play. This is where everybody stays and we've got about 26 Frenchies. 